What's up guys, Dirty here, and today I'm going to be taking my Wii U apart because it overheats. And when it overheats, it reboots itself, turns itself off, and then I get the red blinking light of death. So here is the Wii that I picked up on Let Go the other night. I, I got it for 60 bucks, and from the best I can tell, everything works perfectly. Um... The gamepad worked fine, you know, everything was working until it actually overheats. And so I got to investigating and sure enough, the fan in there is toast. Like when you try to spin the blades through the grate, um, it, it clunks, it's clunky. Um, I don't know if I can get a shot of that or not. You can just tell there's a lot of resistance to it. So basically I got on the old eBay and looked up Wii U cooling fan and got this replacement. Now I ordered it Sunday night and it is Wednesday night and it just came in. So that's pretty good uh, shipping times. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and try to demonstrate what my Wii does when I try to use it. Alright, comes on all nice and well. Well and nice, uh, as you can see, the gamepad, which is a little dirty, but the gamepad is uh, has come on. Go ahead and go ahead and confirm that puppy. As you can tell, it's the fan's definitely not on. There's no breeze. And, you know, like I said, everything works perfectly. It's just once it overheats, it shuts down and you have to completely power it down to uh, get it to come back. And I believe it's because it's overheating for sure because it gets hot to the touch. All right, so it has started to rain, um, but at the 10.05 mark... The controller lost connection with the, the uh, console, and the reason is because that mug overheated. And look at this right here. We got the blinking red light of death, and it is extremely warm to the touch. All right, so before we get started, I kind of wanted to go over the toolkit that I'm going to be using. Um, the main two tools are the screwdrivers here. One is a tri-wing and one is a regular Phillips. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this. That's pretty it's pretty crazy focus if it if it picks it up. And the uh, and the pry tools, those will come in handy. Um, these I don't think we'll be using for the Wii, but as you can see, they're like the security type bolts. All right, so I'm not sure if this is even gonna, you're even gonna be able to tell anything from this video, but we're gonna try. All right, so first things first, to break into this puppy, you've gotta take these little nipples off the edges. So to do that, we're gonna take a, uh, I'm gonna try, I'm going to try and use this uh, little panel puller, and yep, that works great. So we're just going to pull these off and probably lose them. So I'm just going to go around these. Peeling these little guys up. Stubborn little monkey.
I really don't care. But I just F that up. I guess if you actually were trying to do this on a one you paid full price on, you probably want want to be a little bit more careful with these. But like I said, I only paid sixty dollars for this thing, so I'll be able to get that back out of it just selling it for parts on eBay if this doesn't work. So I'm not super worried. Okay. Now we can take out the screws, the little screws. <laughs> and these are the tri-wing screws, so we're not gonna touch those yet. And that's a tri-wing, so let's go ahead and start there. Okay, and then just moving around the console. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the other Phillips screws. Looks like there's three more on this side. It looks like we've got this thing pretty well screwed. So slide back on this and pull this rim piece off. And that's going to expose three more tri-wing. Wrong screwdriver. Siete. All right. Feels like that might come come loose now. Yeah. Okay. Let me flip this mug over. My mom, my mug. My mama said. My mama, my mama said. My mama said. All right. Let me see. feet fell out already. And the violin. All right, and there is the offending little mug. Oh yeah, that's just, you can just tell that's bound up. That's bound and determined. I keep using the wrong screwdriver. All right, so we're just gonna take these little guys out. And unplug this little guy. This should lift right out. You guys calm down over there. Don't make me get the hose. These hoes be lying. All right. Let's 
squirrel and Yoshi freaking out in the background. All right, so out with the old and in with the nude. All right, so I'm basically just going to slide her in place. Can't keep these damn little screwdrivers straight. Ah. Oh bother. Oh bother. Oh come on, come on. Yeah. You always feel good when something works. All right. Well, you know, it'd help if I put it in, right? It always helps. Okay. And I believe this goes not there, but right in there. All right. Now, ordinarily, I would want to test this before I put it back together, but here's the thing. This is kind of like a one-shot... Oh, yeah, look how much better that moves. That's going to be so good. Okay. Hopefully that works. But anyway, like I was saying, ordinarily I would, you know, test this and make sure that, that it's going to work. But at this point, it's kind of like an all or nothing thing. So if it doesn't work, I'm just going to sell it for parts. So For parts. For car parts. Get you some car parts on it is really all you need to do. Just get you some car parts. All right. So to get this thing put back together, you just reverse what we did. Oh, by the way, guys, keep in mind that if you do take this apart, you're going to void your warranty. Um, I didn't really see any security tape on this, so I'm not sure how they know that the warranty's been voided. But uh, keep that in mind. It might be something to think about. All right, now the real trick is remembering how in the H all this went back together. I believe these two little guys are two little, 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 little tri-wing screws. We'll put one right there and let him live right there, and then we'll put this other little tri little They're happy little tri-wings. They're, they're almost tri-hard wings, really, if you want to be frank with it, if you want to be Frank Eccles. All right, and then this long John Silver goes in the back, back here. Doobie leaf. Okay. Then this, well, okay, I didn't even realize that was the CMOS battery. That's cool. Class, take a look. That's cool, I like that. I like where that's located. It's just, that's neat. Easy, quick and easy replace. That ever need to be replaced, which it probably will never need to be replaced. Anyway, but I'm rambling. All right, and then if I remember correctly, the gold one goes up front. Close enough. And this little guy probably goes right in there. Good enough for army work. All right, and then, I feel like I'm leaving out some screws here somewhere. Ah, yes, okay. And then, this guy goes on top and choo-choo him home. 
and we'll go ahead and button this back up and moment of truth it now I kind of feel confident that if the fan comes on that it's going to be able to keep this cool enough to keep operating and I'm I'm also pretty confident that overheating was what was doing it it was essentially hitting its thermal limit the fail safe that they've installed in it I'm turning itself off to prevent damage all right let's get all these little pasties back on here all right so pretty much um, I'm feeling pretty confident that this is fixed I feel a definite nice little flow of air coming out now that wasn't there previously there's a lot of air coming in the side I can feel it being sucked in so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and mess around with the Wii for a while and see if it overheats so just to kind of show you um, another use for the e-durable professional Nintendo products full toolkit set that I bought which is right here is basically I bought a couple of cartridges today I got Mario World and Donkey Kong Country and I noticed when I picked this up it rattles a little bit so I was looking and I was like man that screw looks like one of the new tools that I got so I went over here and grabbed it and lo and behold it is the correct screwdriver to open Super Nintendo cartridges so let's go ahead and open this Super Nintendo cartridge and see what's rattling in there how about that And they're magnetic, which is freaking awesome. If you work on Nintendo and stuff, and you haven't ordered these already, I, I don't know what to. I don't know what to tell you. This is like a dream come true right here. All right, this is actually my first one that I've ever opened. So let's see. Does it just come open like this? And it looks like yes, it does. Okay, so what has gone wrong in here? Ever wanted to see the inside of a Nintendo cartridge? Here's your chance. Look at the little battery up there. I wonder how long that's good for. It looks like it says 9405. I'm wondering if that's like freaking May of 94 that that battery was made. Oh, yeah, it probably is because look, copyright 1994 Nintendo. So that battery is still ticking. I assume. I actually haven't tested this cartridge yet, so that was kind of a pointless little monologue to go on but anyway uh, it's not rattling anymore so that's cool so let's just go ahead and put these screws back to it Still rattly. Still rattles a little. Boy, Mario World is solid. So the Wii's been on for 13 minutes and 37 seconds so far, and it hasn't shut down yet. A while ago, it was shutting off around the 10 minute mark. So I believe that it's fixed. It's definitely pushing warm air out the back, and I can feel it sucking the cold air around my hand from the intake. Um, so I'm pretty sure that it's fixed. I'm going to let it go ahead and keep updating and I'll let you know if it's, if it crashes or anything.